How's it going guys? It's Dankai here. Welcome back to the channel. So today's video sees the return of a series that I did love filming and I can't believe I let fall off and that is Road to Godly. The last one I filmed was about a month ago so it has taken um, backseat a little bit but so has Legends in general. But I thought this episode, why not bring it back in style and do an LBR special? So, quick recap of where we left off last episode. We did manage to get our first spark in in Fiku. And we started building some nice extremes in the Saiyan team. I think what we're going to do is look to put in um, some god key units moving forward now. I think we're good enough. Some of the sparking ones we can fit in. So yeah, I think that's going to be the way to go. As for the LBR special, what I'm going to do is jump into training battles. Now, this will give us an advantage and a disadvantage. Because if people are using really good teams, it 14 stars them all and make them really, really good teams. But you tend to find this is where most of the newer players play. So I'm hoping that skill will beat stars and better characters. Now, obviously, all of mine will be 14 star, but we're not running full equips and they don't really boost each other massively when they're at 14 stars. So we're still going to be at a disadvantage. The main reason I don't want to jump into ranked at the minute is because I'm already battle rank 50. You don't find many people that would even give this team a second look in. And yeah, I don't fancy losing a load of RP that I've been grinding for. So we're going to jump in to the training. Um, like I say, it's going to be fun though because it's going to be all 14 stars. So let's jump straight into the first game. Right then, jumping into the first game, we're coming up against a pretty mismatched Saiyan team. Um, there are some pretty good units in there though. So I'm hoping that skill can bring us to the win. Who is he going to bring? I think he's going to definitely bring them. He's got to bring Chiku, so we'll not take Go Cheetah. And yeah, let's see how we get on in the first game. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think to the new PvP preview screen. I personally think it's really cool and can help you get a bit of a tactical advantage over your opponent. Um, and you can sort of plan your first few moves, but other people I know really don't like it. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. So, jumping into the first game then, um, it doesn't have the best connection, which is always a good start, especially when we're coming in these training battles. Like I say, I did want to uh, try the training battles out, just because um, it does give us a bit of help getting to first few sparkings at least. Uh, we've got one in so far, and even in the training battles, I do think we're going to struggle, uh, because there's no synergy to the team at all, so... These people bring in even random teams oh, are going to definitely uh, become tricky for us. I mean, having to even concentrate against a team with no equipment. Um, see, it makes you wonder though, because this team's quite well thought out, but with no equipment, it's, uh, it makes you wonder what is actually going on. We're going to go straight... For the Rising Rush, we need to get some of these good Sparkings in to help us when we do jump back into rank. So, um, we're not going to take any prisoners this episode. Let's just pray that we land it. Now let's pray that it actually does enough damage. Um, it should do against this Goku. Yeah, plenty. So, Ultra Goku is down. That saves Broly a little bit. Oh, I should have left him in. Should have left him in. I didn't think it was even him in. That's one thing I really need to start doing is paying more attention when I'm playing. I, uh, I become very single-minded when I'm playing and only focus on the unit that's in. I need to uh, remember to keep an eye on what's going on. And apparently I can't talk whilst I'm uh, thinking as well, so that's always fun. <laughs> Let's get Broly in here. And then hopefully... We'll go forward, do that, do that. Land, please. Please. Nice. So we brought Krillin in. Didn't really want him to bring Krillin in. But... Oh, you... But... It has done quite a nice bit of damage. So, Rising Rush. Get him in there. Um, what's he going to go? Let's just go like that. See what we've done. Green, apparently. Um, let's see if he's gone green. No, blast. So, that looks like it's the end of the Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Let's see if we can do anything. Now, I am mindful that when Krillin dies, um, Goku gets a boost. 
962, is it enough? 972, no. No. And obviously, Chiku already gets a last man standing buff, so not ideal. Doesn't matter when he's not the last man standing, though. And let's try and hit that for the win. Boom! First game, first win against a pretty nice Namek Saga team. So let's go make our first change. As we're doing training battles, please make sure to send GGs to everyone. It's a training battle. Why wouldn't you? Right then, like I said, we're going to start making some god key changes to it now. There are a couple of Sparkins that aren't Zenkai in my god key team. Um, so we can start doing them. The big one I really need is some support, and I think that uh, Borgos isn't really cutting it. I never really use him. So let's bring Vados in, put our A-rank a equipment on, as we do for them all. We'll use one of these new Platinum UI ones. If you've not done um, a grind for this equipment yet, make sure to. You can use it on any Universal Survival Saga unit, and it is insane. So hard to grind, though, and getting one with a good first slot is so hard, but well, well worth it, and make sure you get at least a couple of them. So, it does take the boost down, but I'm hoping that as we start making the gold key changes, it'll start helping get the boost up, and then we can start making our way through the ranks, getting the LFs on it, getting the Zenkai's on it, and we'll be set to make our way through ranked. Ooh, so second game, we're coming up against a very nice future team. Um, we're going to struggle against this one, definitely, because he's not got any blues, and we've just picked Vados. So, um, da, 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 da. we're going to do it. We're, we're going to go balls to the wall, and we're just going to go that. Let's see how we do against a very nice future team. Okay then, jumping straight into game number two, we've got Vados versus Transforming Black to start with. Um, we get a nice, um, we get him to dodge. Sorry, I'm completely uh, sunk into it today. I really want to make the most of this episode. Um, I only think I'm going to be doing one every five. So once every five episodes, we will do a special episode and a Legends Battle Road one. So um, yeah, it'll just help us. As we progress through the ranks, I think we will um, we'll definitely be needing it because I'm actually playing PvP a bit more now too. So my ranked, um, yeah, I'm getting, I'm pretty much battle rank 51st day now. So there's not much time to get Road to Godly's filmed unless I want to be playing against battle rank 50s. Um, so yeah, it is a challenge. Like I say, once we start having more sparkings, then I'm sure we'll be able to put on more of a challenge um, and put on more of a fight against these top teams. But for now, we're getting our ass handed to us by this future team. I must say, um, he's playing not the greatest, but uh, neither am I. He's gone straight for the attack. This is one thing I do uh, need to anticipate a lot more is people not charge stepping, not bait covering, not doing anything really. And... Yeah, it's gonna. It's it's hard going from playing battle rank fifty to training battle is hard. Does this guy have endurance? I think he does. I think he does. I can't tell though for sure. Right, it doesn't matter because he's already out of there. He's already out of there, and so is Goku. Oh no! Right, we need. Oh, do we need him? I think that was bad. I'm feeling a rising rush as well. Oh my god, he didn't rise and rush though, which is always good. Do that. Oh, he hits nice. He hits nice. He hits nice. Let's knock that off. Come on. We might actually have this one as well. I thought uh, when we started that, um, yeah, we had no chance. But we're going to pop off the rising rush. We, Like I say, can't take any chances. Um, we need to make the most of this special episode and get as many changes as we can. So let's see if the Rising Rush is enough to take us through the second win. Looks like it might be, but uh, I don't like to uh, I don't like to jinx it, especially if uh, Gohan comes in and we take him down because he gives a boost. To Vegeta now, and we are. Uh, that's Goku dead, nearly. No, that's Vegeta dead. So nice. Second win out of two for this special episode. And yeah, I think it's going 
pretty well so far. Let's jump into the third and see if we can make it three out of three. So, I nearly completely forgot we can make a change. I've just had a look at the God team, and I don't think we can make any just yet until we've got all Sparkins to the actual God's team. So, we're going to build a God's team to fill its place. We can't use LFs or Zenkai. So, that's why we can't make any changes to help the final God Key team, because the ones we need are UI, GB, we need VB... Beerus and Zenkai Goku. Now, Vados is the first of six, so she's the first check. And I think what we're going to do is build a God Key team just to fill its place. So, let's put in... What do we need? We need a good purple, I think, and there's no better purple for God Key than this guy, I think. We'll put as a rank equipment on him. This one looks nice. So, Fusion Zamazu is the second change of the video and the third sparking. So, let's go see... If we can get the third win out of three and make another change. Right, third and final fight of the video. We're coming up against a powerful opponent's team. He's definitely going to be bringing um, LF Rose. He's going to be bringing Perfect Cell. And he's going to be bringing Jiren, I think. So, I think we'll go these three. Let's try the Sparkins out for the first time together and see how we do. Right then, third and final battle. Jumping straight in. He's bought... Rose, he's bought um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, I was going to say Zenkai Godku, but he's not got him Zenkai, and he's bought the Revival Cell, so it'll be interesting to see how we do against this, let's get that off, doesn't appear to be one of the greatest players, he's very, very aggressive with his playstyle, doesn't leave himself that um, covered, we're just going to lay him attack first. Or not. We'll get this in, definitely. We'll, we'll get it in early. Might as well. We definitely might as well. See if he... Uh... Oh. Oh, we could have dodged. That was interesting. I didn't think he would have even... Would have been able to dodge that. Oh, okay. Why can't I dodge that? Well, suck on that, Rose. Let's get the uh, super off. Nice. That did nice damage as well. Let's drain all his key. Send the blasts his way. Oof. He could have destroyed me there. Could have literally destroyed me there. Let's get the ult off and hope he doesn't switch. And uh, this should take out Rose. Nice. So, takes him down to two units. Technically three. If you class Revival Cell as two. Um, I love Revival Goku. He's looking insane. Um... I'm not going on that banner though, so pre-warning to everyone who's expecting an All-Stars Hit and Goku video, uh, don't, because I have no use for either of them. So we take out um, Revival Cell quite quick, connection's bad, we're not going to get a DC on the last one are we? No, that's not, I don't want a DC. So let's have a look at Perfect Cell then. See if he can do anything against these three. I think we've got this one in the bag. But with Rising Rushes still there, I don't want to uh, jinx it too much. So he managed to uh, actually beat me there. He actually managed to trick me. I can't believe that. Um, let's try and uh, take him out nice and quick then. Regardless of who he brings in here, we should be able to take them out if we bring in him. Let's get the Rising Rush in. Like I say, no mercy in this dojo today, guys. We're going for three wins out of three, and we want those three changes. Um, when we jump into the next episode, we'll be back to normal ranks. So uh, we need the best head start we can get, and we've already made two very solid changes in this video. So let's finish this one off and hopefully get to make that third change. I don't know who we should go for, to be honest. Um, like I say, we've gone down the God Key route now. Um, we're starting. We're starting to finally get some very solid units. So I think the next one's going to have to be a bit more careful and thought out um, because it might be the last one we make for quite some time. But with that, we finish and win the third and final game. So let's jump in, make the third change of the video. Right then, third and final change of the video, and I don't really think there's anything else I can do at the minute other than put in a yellow. Or a red. Um, all of the blues are Zenkai or LF. So I can't use a blue. Uh, yellow would be useful. We can use Champa. We could use the Kaioken Goku. I haven't got 
God Zenkai. Uh, God Vegeta Zenkai yet, so I could use him. But I think, over all of them, the unit that I'm going to go for is one that I 14 starred recently, the same day as Quantum Gaming. Tom, whose channel I'll leave in the description, um, we got him on the same day as well. So it was cool to see the unit that stuck with us all the way. Um, and yeah, we managed to 14 star him on the day. Uh, same day, and that is... Obviously, the original red rosé. So, let's put the equipment on him. I think we're going to use one of these for now. Or should we use one of them? We'll use one of the Awakened Weasts. I think that'll do him nicely as we jump into the next episode. With that change, it brings us to an end of the first ever Road to Godly LBR special episode. We did manage to get three wins out of three. And they weren't even against noobs slash bots slash people with god-awful teams. We did have a challenge in most of them. So, yeah, I can't say... It was smooth sailing all the way through this episode. The changes we made are going to prove vital as we go into the next few episodes. Back to ranks. We got Vados, Original Red Rose, and Fusion Zamazu. So, helps build that God Key Foundation. And, yeah, hopefully we can get uh, some more changes to it pretty quickly. But... I don't think we're going to. If you've enjoyed this video and like the Road to Godly series, it'd mean a lot to me if you could leave the video with a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments who you want to see as the next few changes. I would say you won't have to wait as long for the next episode, but if I don't say it, I won't be lying. As always, I've been Dankai. Thanks for watching.